What is up everybody and welcome back to another brand new video and today we're going to be looking at the some of the top used Pokemon and what their items are and stats and all that stuff for VGC 2020 Series 7. Now this, I don't think this is like completely accurate because some of these Pokemon, um, they don't have down uh, like what kind of items they usually use. But so far from what we have right here, this is the updated version. Tapu Fini is at number one. Not surprised. And let's take a look at this. It's at a 31.90 base stats for Tapu Fini. 70 HP, 75 attack, 115 defense, 95 special attack, 130 special defense, and 85 speed. And you can see all of the items that Tapu Fini has, they're all berries except for choice specs. I don't think I've seen choice specs myself. Uh, right now on Showdown, at least for me, I keep running into like the same Pokemon and it's basically these kind of teams. And for Tapu Fini, it's always Calm Mind and as you can see right here, the number four move, the top four, uh, top fourth move on Tapu Fini is Calm Mind. And then we have Protect, Moonblast, and Muddy Water. And then at the bottom, we can see, uh, Dazzling Gleam, Scald, Icy Wind. I've seen Icy Wind Tapu Finis for like speed control. Obviously, it's ability is going to be a Misty Surge. Uh, you can see some of the spreads right there. They all have, like, Modest. And then here we go. This is how the teams basically look like for me. Whenever I see Tapu Fini, it's usually paired up with Metagross, Incineroar as well. And then we have Landorus and Cartana. Those are the top four Pokemon that you're most likely to run into uh, with Tapu Fini. And then, of course, and speaking about Metagross, at number two, Metagross is at number two. Uh, this thing is just insanely good. Metagross is just so good right now. Uh, it's, I mean, add the fact that it gets Dynamax now, and you can just run weakness policy, eat any attack, plus uh, Metagross with that 130 base physical defense is just crazy, and, uh, and it's special defense, to be honest, the special defense isn't even that bad, uh, 90, and then it has 80 HP, but remember, with that Dynamax, Metagross is just really bulky, now this is what uh, kind of surprised me here, is that we have Assault Vist at number one for Metagross, Choice Bad in at number two, and then we have number three Weakness Policy with number four being a Citrus Berry, so those are the top used items on Metagross. This actually got me by surprise because whenever I run into Metagross, it's pretty much like always, always Weakness Policy. And Choice Banded, I don't even think I've ever seen a Choice Banded in Metagross so far in Showdown because uh, they usually Dynamax it, and if you're gonna Dynamax a Pokemon, a choice item is usually uh, useless, right? Like you don't you you don't get the the added boost from Choice Band when you Dynamax. So I don't know about this, but it says right here that Assault Vest is at number one. And then speaking of moves, we have a Protect at number one, uh, Iron Head at number two, Ice Punch at number three, and then Meteor Mash at number four. So there's two Steel type moves here. I guess people are picking between Meteor Mash and Iron Head. I guess some people prefer that 100% accuracy on the Iron Head. And then some people want that extra damage with Me Meteor Mash. Then we have Earthquake and Stomping Tantrum. And of course, you see the teammates, just like I said. Tapu Fini. You see Tapu Fini, you see Metagross and Incineroar. So it's like these three just go well together. You have Landers here. And then you have Tornadus uh, for that Tailwind uh, support from Tornadus on Metagross. And then let's see, Clear Body, of course, the number one item. Just such a good item right now. You don't have to worry about Intimidate. And then the spreads, Adamant. Pretty much everything is Adamant. But pretty pretty interesting that Assault Vest is number one on the Metagross. And then number three, Landorus. We all remember Landorus, boys. 2015, uh, 2018. Pretty, well, faded, faded in 2016, 2019 because I'm guessing because of leg legendaries, just like Tyranitar faded in those two years as well. But that sweet 145 base attack and the two top used items, of course, are pretty much the same items that we always saw on Landorus uh, back in 2015 as well. Uh, Choice Scarf or Assault Vest. And then the, the moves are identical as well. Rock Slide, Earthquake, U-Turn. But this time people are running Fly. So obviously, if people are running Fly on their Landorus, this is because... Uh, just in case at the end of Dynamaxing, they can go for Max Airstream, Protect, and then Superpower. So, really interesting to see Fly in at number 4, because usually I don't really see Landorus uh, Dynamax, because they're probably usually running Choice Scarf on it. And here we go, Top of Fiend, of course, and Metagross as the top two teammates that you will come across on Lando. And then the two, two pretty basic spreads, Max uh, Speed, Max Attack. 
with either adamant or jolly nature and then of course Incineroar in at number four we, we already knew that Incineroar coming back was easily going to be top five I believe in series five before Incineroar got banned I think Incineroar was at number um Incineroar was like top three back in series five but yeah pretty much everything's still the same on Incineroar nothing's really changed everyone's still running the Fiji Berry or you run into Assault Vist or the Safety Goggles I feel like Safety Goggles is definitely going to die out now since you don't really have to worry about Amoongus Spore because one Amoongus has dropped a lot in usage for series 7 which makes sense because you literally have Tapu Koko and Tapu Fini whose terrains just shut down Spore so Safety Goggles pretty much just isn't needed anymore you can either you you're either just gonna see um berry incineroar or assault vest and then the move set pretty much the same fake out flare blitz parting shot snarl uh and then again the teammates <laughs> just like the rest topo and metagross and here we go we have a new one of the new pokemon from the crown tundra reggie aliki but as you can see right here they don't have items so we don't know what items are uh being used with reggie aliki uh i would probably i would probably have to say focus ash for sure uh reggie aliki is pretty frail uh, Focus Sash, maybe even the Choice Specs, Regiliki, and then of course the moves. Since this thing usually just gets nothing but um, Electro type moves, and then of course we have Reflect. I've seen Reflect Regiliki, uh, but it's pretty crazy. I'm surprised Electro Ball is an is at a number eight because Electro Ball plus this insane 200 base speed that Regiliki has can can do can just do so much damage. And we have here Tapu Koko in at number three at 21.4 for uh, teammates which makes sense since we get the electric terrain up and it can help out Regiliki uh, do more damage and then here we have another one in at number six the last trier my boy in at number three again another Pokemon that does not have an uh, doesn't have items or an ability but we already know what ability everyone's gonna be running on glass trier and it's the chilling nay or is it chilling nay chilling nay chilling nay uh, no items. Uh, I already made a video talking about Glass Trier, and pretty much the top two items I would go with are Assault Vest because look at the stats on this thing. You have 100 HP, um, 130 Physical Defense. This ties with Metagross, and then 110 Special Defense. So with Assault Vest, that is absolutely insane. Um, and you don't, you don't, you don't need Weakness Policy. I already talked about this too. The top two items I would use with Assault Vest or Life Orb. That's pretty much it. Icicle Crash, Protect, High Horsepower. Pretty much all these are all the moves I use as well. Uh, Smart Strike in here. I actually have Mega uh, Mega Horn on my uh, Glass Tree here. And then some interesting uh, teammates for this one. Dusclops, Indeedee, of course, because you need Dusclops and Indeedee. So you can try and get Trick Room up. Stack Attack, another Pokemon that can benefit from Trick Room. And then Cresselia, another Pokemon that can set up Trick Room. And then Cartana in at number 7. I don't really run into Cartana that much, to be honest. Um, but let's see what kind of items, uh, I'm actually surprised about this, seeing two berries instead of, like, Focus Ash or Assault Vest, considering Cartana just has a very trash special defense. And then, uh, ooh, this one actually has Moltres in at number four, so Cortana, really interesting, uh, Aerial Ace is actually at number eight. Which is interesting, since you think that you would want those max Airstream boosts. And let's see, and this is the one. This is the Pokemon that's been giving me some problems currently on Shodan. That's Galarian Moltres. This thing is getting a lot of usage right now. I wouldn't be surprised if, if, uh, if eventually uh, Galarian Moltres makes a climb up to at least top 5. Like, this thing is, is currently being used on Shodan a lot. Uh, and once again, they also don't have any items for this. And then let's see, Ndidi, uh, Galarian Zapdos, Tornadus. Rillaboom has completely died out. I don't think Rilla is that uh, used right now. Dust Clops all the way at 11.67. Very interesting considering that pretty much for, I want to say, most of VGC 2020, Evil Light Dust Clops has just been an absolute god. Like, it's it was basically like on, on so many teams. Uh, and then we have Galarian Articuno, Articuno actually above Dragapult at number 14. And Dragapult's at number 15. Cresselia, and then here is Amoongus. Not surprised to see Amoongus go all the way down again because of the Tapus. Tapu Coco, Tapu, um, 
Tapu Fini, they shut down Amoongus' Spore just by switching into the field and getting up the terrain. But... Yeah, that is pretty much it. Teats are way down here at a 7.50 usage. Togekiss way down here at a 5.81%. Celestia, what the? Okay, excuse me. Reggie Drago is actually being used more than Dragonite. Dragonite's way down here at 3.38, dude. Dragonite getting absolutely no love. Feels bad, bro. But Toga, I'm really surprised about Togekiss and Tyranitar. Just way down here, man. They're way down here. But we'll have to see how it's going to look like once once the rules update. And and we'll be battling with Series 7 on Sword and Shield. We'll have to see how the, the stats will change. I do expect Glastrier to go up. I don't know why Reggie Aliki would be used more than Glastrier. But... I, I feel like last year would definitely climb up into top five eventually. This is a, this, it's just such a solid mon, such a solid mon. It's already at number six too, so it's very close. Galarian Moltres, I feel like Galarian Moltres is a lot better than Cortana at this point too. So this will probably be this will probably surpass Cortana eventually. But anyway, boys, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching, and let me know down below how do you feel about this list, and do you think last year will eventually uh, get ranked higher?